Good morning, dog walkers. It is day 17 of trying to cross America in 30 days, starting from just one penny to deliver a penny to Mr. Beast. We are in Austin, Texas. Ayo, Austin, Texas, check. It is 5.30 in the morning, and last night I got reset by Mr. Beast. So we have one penny. And last night I got approved to be a wag dog walker. And we actually got our first gig to walk Toro. Look at Toro. I believe I'm going to walk him for one hour, so let's go do it. I'm on my way, Toro. I'm on my way. This is my first official wag walk, so I want to get a good review. So I'm going to give Toro the walk of his life. I think we're here. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we got him. Hi, Toro. Good, Toro. Sniff. Okay, let's go. He wants to go. Toro. <laughs> Toro, what are you doing? It's so funny on the app, they have like a profile basically. And it says Toro likes to chase animals, is leash trained, tries to eat things, which is such a funny, hey, hey, don't eat, don't eat that. That's a trash can. That's such a funny way to describe someone. Oh, we're moving. I'm like 95% sure the owner put the harness on wrong, but I'm not gonna switch it because I don't have that authority yet. This is my first dog walk. Look how sweet he is. Look how sweet. I love you, buddy. Oh, he's doing so well. He's actually so well behaved. Oh, nope, it's panting. Toro, what are you doing, Toro? <laughs> we have to walk, buddy. Oh, he's trying to eat small things. Okay. He's so funny. Nice. Very good. All right. Okay. He wants to run. Where's he going? What you sniffing on? Toro found small things. They're squirrels. Toro, we can't. Yes, Toro, you're so good. He's like, I'm not walking till I get another treat. Here it comes. Yummy. <laughs> Amazing. You ready? He's still not ready. I think Toro is tired. Toro, I love you. Can we just comment, Toro, I love you? My life right now? <laughs> I couldn't ask for a better morning. Rise and grind, baby. It's Monday. Come on. Okay. Sweet Toro has been dropped off. We got $19.45 for that walk, which is just unreal. Great reset, who? Sorry, Mr. Bees, wait, what'd you do last night? <laughs> no, but that's actually the craziest recovery from a great reset maybe of all time. I love Toro, but there's one thing I might love more. $1 iced vanilla coffee, baby. Everett, good job today, my man. Oh my gosh, okay. I'm going through the drive-thru. Welcome to McDonald's, now serving frozen Coke. Serving what? Hi there, can I get a uh, sausage, egg, and cheese McGriddle and a large iced vanilla coffee? Okay, pull up in the window, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I'll pull up. Jeez. $4? All right, boom. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. This is a nice boulder. Where my Shrek fans at? So you can only get one deal a day, so I decided to get the $1 sandwich and pay a $2 coffee instead of a $1 coffee and $4 sandwich. It's cheaper. Let's get it. I just destroyed the lid. Honestly, I wouldn't mind doing one wag walk a day for the rest of this challenge. <laughs> Screw it the rest of my life. <laughs> that was so much fun and that was one hour and I always see like 20 minute walks on, on wag. Seems like a good thing. I would have literally enjoyed that for free. Ayo, Sammy test. Mmm, dude, it's like meat and egg sandwich between two pancakes. This is such a good sandwich. Like I said, a ticket to North Carolina, which doesn't get us all the way to Mr. Beast, by the way, is at the cheapest over $250. If all of these great resets are really happening, there's no way we can make that in one day. Alternatively, we could fly to a much closer city for like $130. I think that is possible, so I think I'm gonna try to save up for that. The great reset is gnarly. It really is. Not as gnarly as this clip of Toro. <laughs> I'm going to finish the sandwich, probably vibe for a bit, and then I'll tell you the game plan for the day. Cheers. Day 17, game plan. We started with a penny this morning at 5.30 a.m. And thanks to Toro, not only are we financially rejuvenated, but emotionally rejuvenated. Toro, I love you, buddy. He was cute, he was fun. I think walking a dog every day that I'm here is a great idea, but here's what I'm doing for the rest of the day. Step one, do six Uber Eats deliveries on this bike. Let me tell you why. As far as I know, I might be getting reset every single day for the next like five days. There's just a bunch of people on Twitter, a bunch of people messaging me saying, this guy's gonna donate $50,000. This person's gonna donate, okay. I'm scared of that. The last thing that I want is to get stuck in a city and run out of time on this challenge. If I do six deliveries a day, howdy. I love your dog, that's, that's a cute dog. I actually walk dogs for money. Uber Delivery is doing a promo where if I do 30 deliveries in the next five days, I get a $95 bonus. That's six deliveries a day. So even if we get reset every day, as long as I complete that, that's a $95 bonus. That's huge. Howdy. Hey, no sweat, man. 
Looking good. Step two, at that point I must take a water break because it will probably be 106 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm a Texas boy, I'm used to it, but that is concerningly hot. So I'm gonna take a nice break. Step three, go to Barton Springs, my favorite place in the world. It costs like $5 to get into this beautiful freshwater spring in Austin. It's an investment for my soul. I'm gonna do that later. My hope is that by the end of the day, we're up to 50 or $60. So I'm gonna try to figure out a way to protect our money that we earned today from the Great Reset. I mean, oh, sorry, <laughs> the Great Reset. <laughs> I don't know. I'm running out of- We have to figure out a way to protect our money that we earn. We have to. I bought a Chipotle gift card, but I cannot just buy a Visa gift card because that's just buying money with money. Step four, take a shower at the gym that I signed up for for free yesterday. And my friends, that sounds like a pretty dang good day to me. Let's start these deliveries. Is it worth me pretending that I actually left? Because I'm just doing that for the video. I have to come back and get the camera. Donuts for breakfast. Okay, Gabriel. This is like the best donut place in the world. Who do donuts? Thank you very much. Have a good one. Take care. Gabriel woke up and chose greatness this morning. Oh, thanks, Dan. Thanks, Dan. I just said, thanks, Daniel. Take. His name is Gabriel. Hey, we all start somewhere. This is where my deliveries are starting. That's okay. That's all right. I got a feeling. That tonight's gonna be a good night. Good, good night. Hey, yo, new order. This one is pretty far. That's all I got for you right now. Pick it up for Matt. You're gonna do it. Thanks, guys. It's brunch time, Matt. It's brunch time, baby. Hey, hey all, all good. Awesome. Thanks, Thanks Matt. So much. I appreciate Take it. Take care, brother. For every uphill, there is indeed a downhill. Indeed. New order for Jessica. We're doing great today. We're doing great on time. I'm flying. Everett is treating me well. Okay, thank you so much. Take care. I love it here. So gorgeous. Trail life. I'm earning money right now. Delivery four out of six on the day. Going strong. There we go. Oh, thank you, sir. Let's hit it. Hey, thanks, Sam. Appreciate it. Okay. Four to five of six. Almost done. Awesome, thank you. Only one more order, Everett. It's just one more. He's doing great. He's doing so well. You know, this bike doesn't have a kickstand. It can't even stand up on its own. I guess you could say it's it's too tired. It's this bike. <sighs> Never mind. Last two orders of the day. It's a double order. Let's get it. Delivery not far away at all. Oh yes. Oh yes. Look at that. It is a furnace out here. It is a literal furnace. We are now up over $55, I believe. That's a rough estimate based on my calculations. You guys know how much we have. I don't. I'm still waiting for Uber Eats tips to come in. But we did seven deliveries. Seven out of 30 to get that $95 bonus. That's what I'm talking about, baby. You guys like that hype? You guys like that? That was pretty hype. Like I said in the game plan, right now is a very essential part of our day. It's just gonna be a water break. That one didn't hit. That one didn't really hit as well. It's piping out here, guys. It's piping hot out here in Texas. Yee yee. No, but seriously, you guys probably know where I am. <laughs> Chipotle. I mean, let's be honest, you guys knew that. I'm gonna go in here and use my gift card to get an actual drink, not a water cup. Yeah, I'm kind of crazy today. But the reason is I want water, but I also want a fun drink. If you guys know anything about me, it's that I am a, I'm a sucker for fun drinks. Fun drinks are just anything other than water and milk. Extra points if it's fizzy. If it's, fi if it's a fizzy drink, <laughs> That's fun. Anyways, let's hit it. Hi, how's it going? Oh, I'm just gonna get a drink. All right, I have a gift card. All You're right, right. 29, 23 left. It's beautiful, thank you. Ah, oh yeah, water break. <laughs> I got a brain freeze. I got this. <laughs> I have a brain freeze. Okay, I gotta finish. I just spilled some. I was trying to be cinematic and I spilled Okay, I need to clean this up. Fun drink season. <laughs> who's, who's, who's having fu more fun drinks than this guy? Three ingredients? I'm crazy. Listen, I woke up at 5.30 a.m. this morning. I have not stopped. It is 2 p.m. right now. You know what else it is? It's summer. Water break is not just going to Chipotle, chugging water, getting a brain freeze, and a fun drink, and leaving. Water break is so much more than that. Summer goes with swimming, like peanut butter goes with jelly. Can we all agree? You're nodding, you're nodding at home? Okay, well that is perfect because my favorite place in Austin, Texas is Barton Springs. The most refreshing fresh water spring in the entire world.
Don't look that up. I paid five bucks to get in here. Good deal to me. Look, it's 100 degrees here in Texas. That water is freezing cold. I call that a recipe. Yeah, I'm a local. Preston is here with me. You gotta get in. I'm gonna get it. Let's go, Preston. No! Summer! I don't know if you guys remember High School Musical 2, but when they say, Summer. Summer. <laughs> Summer. Bro, that's how this feels right now. Physical manifestation. Hey, Mr. Beast. Check it out. I'm laying on a stick. Oh my gosh, dude. Can you believe we got reset last night? Couldn't be me. Mr. Beast, you really gonna mess with a guy that can do this? Yeah, Jimmy should be intimidated by you. Dinner time. I know I always get McChickens, but I'm gonna switch it up today. Howdy, can I get three McChickens with no lettuce? There's five. Dinner at the park. Oh yeah, how was that? Dinner with a view? I have three McChickens here. It's still brutally hot out here, so <laughs> hopefully they're not hot and spicy. Oh, they're not. I thought there was a national shortage of regular McChickens, but it seems like it's fixed. So, oh my gosh. I haven't had a regular McChicken this entire time. Your boy can't handle hot and spicy that well, let me tell you that. It's been a relatively chill money-making day. We're up to $57.62 after spending that money at Barton Springs. That's a really good base, but I've been thinking about how we can make a lot of money in one day, and I think tomorrow is gonna be that day. I have a genius idea. You can rent a lawnmower for $31 a day. Now I was thinking about buying a lawnmower, like on Facebook Marketplace, but most of them are at least $70, and that's not a bad deal. However, if I were to try to resell it before I leave, I would probably lose like $30 anyway. Mm, gotta take the backpack out for this. So right now I'm gonna order this to pick it up tomorrow morning at 8.30 a.m. Here we go. Got it. $31 down the hatch. Now this is also good because if we get reset tonight, I have a lawnmower that I can use to make money all day long. I genuinely think that we can afford a flight by the end of tomorrow if I just grind out as many lawns as possible. My game plan is just to knock on doors and ask, hey, can I mow your lawn for like $20? Seems like a good deal. I'm very excited about that. If we can make $250 tomorrow, then we can actually go to straight to North Carolina. Let's finish this series early. Really, everything depends if we get reset tonight. I'm very excited about that, but I might be even more excited about the fact that I have three McChickens with my name written on them. That's an expression, Jennifer. That sounded rude. Mm. I'm gonna obliterate these McChickens now. Time to go. That was so good. Yesterday we got a seven day free trial at a very nice gym. So next we're gonna go there. This shower is about to hit different. Golden hour though. The sun goes down, the stars come out. Oh. This gym is literally so nice. It has so many amenities. I took a nice shower and then rinsed my mouth with mouthwash. I have never seen a gym that has mouthwash in the bathroom. I feel like a professional athlete here. I literally didn't want to leave with their closing, so now I'm here. <laughs> Y'all, it's getting dangerous. I'm getting too good at that snap transition. <laughs> Right? I'm gonna bring you, I'm gonna bring you in the hammock with me. Another night in the hammock? This hammock has to be hands down our best investment of all time. We bought it on day one for like 30 bucks. Imagine how much a hotel would be every night. Ridiculous. The previous states have all been pretty cold at night, like 55 to 60 degrees, and hammocks don't retain heat very well, so that has been pretty cold. Last night after it cooled off a little bit, it was perfect. So I think I'm gonna enjoy the hammock in Texas, but now is the best time of the day. We're gonna check donations on the Feeding America fundraiser. Yesterday, we were at 5.9 million meals raised, $590,000. Let's see where we're at. Oh, please, no great reset. I, I am actually desperate. Sorry. The fundraiser went up $110,000. This is our third time raising over 100K in one day. Great reset. Oh my god. <laughs> Dr. Mike. No, you didn't, Dr. Mike. Dr. Mike donated 100. <laughs> I can't even say it. Dr. Mike donated $100,000. $111. I need a Dr. Mike right now. Goodness gracious. Well, guys, that's the only verbal donation we have for the day. So thank you, Dr. Mike. There's a real chance that we break a million dollars raised for Feeding America. The amount of generosity that this community is rallying up is truly so beautiful. It's so inspiring. I wake up so excited to do this, so grateful to do this. And if you can't donate, be sure to subscribe. 
I think we've gained a million subscribers this month already. We're donating one penny for every subscriber we get, so that's already over 100,000 meals just from people clicking that button. Let's keep it going, and in the morning, we are launching a lawn mowing business. <laughs> I'll see you tomorrow. Mwah! I love you, Dr. Mike! <laughs>